accused of abusing his baby who later died. Juan Rosales is charged with criminal abuse. Today, prosecutors told a judge they're waiting on autopsy results before deciding whether to proceed Thank with you. more charges. WLKY recently obtained the police interview after his arrest. As Mark Vanderhoff reports, Rosales told detectives the baby's death was an accident. Juan Rosales told police he dropped his baby on a Tuesday in June. That week, the baby became fussy, developed a temperature, and stopped eating. By that Sunday, the baby was having a hard time breathing. I saw my, my son, he was like not moving when I picked him up, and I got really scary. So I just grabbed my keys and take him to the hospital. At first, Rosales told police he had no idea what could have happened to his seven-week-old son. Doctors discovered the baby had a large skull fracture. They declared him brain dead. Despite a lawsuit by the mother, the baby was taken off life support after nearly four weeks. How can I hear my own son? Well, the only child I have, the, everything I love, how can I hurt him? Somebody did, and there's only two people that could have done it. Rosales spent hours telling police he didn't know how the baby fractured his skull. But finally, he told investigators about the fall. He said he was giving the boy a bath when he squirmed and fell in the tub. I was regulating the water, and then he turned his way, and then I was like, where? But he turned his way, but he went like, like that. That's and then he hit his head on the side of the, side of the tub? Yeah. Side of the tub? yeah. Rosales says he didn't think the baby needed to see a doctor right away, and his attorney believes the autopsy results will show the baby's death was an accident. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.